It's 2019, a time for fresh starts. Or, if you're Bethesda, it's time for more of the same, innit? Fallout 76 has kicked off the year with a bang. Oh wait, no it hasn't. Quite the opposite of a bang, because the nukes didn't work. Did you see what I did there? Yes, according to the reports, the nukes, the big thing in Fallout 76 that was much lauded, uh, must have had a problem with the clocks because 2019 started and the nukes didn't work. According to Kotaku, players on January 1st found out that the silos that you get the nukes from, uh, normally they reopen after use but they were locked and there was a countdown timer to open that of 9,999 hours. There are scorched officers that drop the uh, bits of the nuke codes that you need to launch those weaponries, but they weren't appearing. They didn't spawn those. Everything to do with nukes was bugged out. According to the Kotaku story, uh, the Intel monitor in the Enclave bunker, that was messed up. It would just show words, uh, it, it would show the words complete, incomplete, and hashtags where there should be letters. It's worth reiterating what I noted at the beginning. This was a big selling point for the game. It's a big end game thing. For many people, it's one of the few ends to Fallout 76. It's at least a goal to work towards. It's something big, it's something climactic, and it really is quite possibly the only thing uh, that could be described as such in the game. So it makes perfect sense that Bethesda would fuck that up. <laughs> I mean, that's really what it comes down to. It's the end game for many, many players, in lieu of actual content. So the idea that that, the big bang of Fallout 76, got screwed up to begin with, it's its just, I mean, this isn't a small little side activity that was reliant on an in-game clock that got messed up because the year changed. This is the nukes, the nuclear bombs in Fallout 76. I mean, Jesus Christ. Bethesda took Fallout 76 down on January 2nd, that's today as I record this, uh, in order to hotfix the issue. It seems somewhat likely that this is uh, a timer issue within the game, uh, they just didn't account for the year changing over, uh, which in some situations could be a case of, alright, fair enough, it was an oversight, they didn't see it coming, but mm, this was released towards the end of this year, and as I've said and cannot say enough times, this is the big central point of Fallout 76. The centerpiece, if you will. It's the nukes! The thing they kept talking about before release, and the only thing that matters now, because there's nothing else in the game worth a shit. This just speaks volumes, the volumes, mind, to how Bethesda had no business getting into an online-only situation. It had no business trying to do an always-online game because it don't know what it's doing. Bethesda's incompetence knows no bounds, as we've discussed multiple times on this channel and in an episode of the Jimquisition where we looked at six times Bethesda was massively incompetent. Now that video seems woefully outdated because I could do another video entitled six times Bethesda was massively incompetent and fill it with just stuff related to Fallout 76. In fact, I'm planning a post-mortem video on Fallout 76 but I'm frightened to start doing it because I don't know when this shit show will end. It'd been a few weeks, hadn't it, since something massively fucked up happened with Fallout 76. It'd been, I think, a couple weeks since the, the canvas bag situation. And here we are again. I thought maybe it'd cooled down. The game's been out, it's launched, the, the teething troubles are done, and it's settled into sublime mediocrity. But here we are with another issue. It never ends. I'm scared to put into a cement video package the sad, troubled history of Fallout 76 because it's the gift that keeps on taking and it hasn't stopped taking primarily the piss. This game, this obscenely inept game that somehow made it onto Polygon's Games of the Year, Best PC Games of 2018. Now I'm not one to bag on other outlets, especially the whole YouTube versus game journalist thing. Uh, that's not my scene, but it is funny. And I'm not gonna, you know, it's not like the whole, whole state of games journalism or anything dramatic like that. I just think it's funny. Um, especially when it starts with Fallout 76 understands that an open world needs to be rewarding. 
<laughs> oh dear. Oh, sorry, hang on. Not in terms of finding resources or new quests, but because the act of exploration itself should be engaging. Yes, it should! I agree with that! It should! I don't agree Fallout 76 does it in any way whatsoever. But then there's a lot of things Fallout 76 doesn't do, like nuclear bombs on New Year's Day. And I'm not saying that to have a, you know, a serious go at Polygon. It's good natured, good natured, I just thought it was funny. I mean, it is one of the worst games of 2018. Not just because I put it on my list of worst games of 2018, but because it's so bizarrely stupid as a game, and as an idea Bethesda had, and as an execution of that idea. Fallout 76 is a pissing mess. It's rubbish, and as I've said many times before, it's a bad idea executed badly. Take me home, country roads, and while you're on the way, can you stop at Best Buy and return these nukes? They're busted.